the chair's statement. This meeting is being recorded by committee chairs. If any other persons present are doing the same, you must notify the chairperson at this time. Purpose of this meeting is to prepare agendas for subcommittees for council consideration. No discussion or comments will be entertained unless requested upon by the committee chairs. Um, can I have a roll call, please? President Gilmore. I'm here. Vice President Gwynn. Here. Councilor Disorder. Here. Councilor Elmer. Here. Councilor Forgy. Here. Councilor Ricketts. Here. Madam President, you have a quorum. Thank you. All right. So President's notes. Um, the first thing I see here is that that one from Hilltown Health about 5G. Um, I'm inclined to just not take this up. I feel like we don't want to be making ordinances based on, you know, pseudoscience. Um, and anyone can come to public comment anytime they want. So I don't feel like we need to have a special presentation. Does that sound right to everyone else? Yes. Correct. Good. Great. Um, the second one that I think is that task force that Mary, um, that Councillor Bullock proposed and has since um, asked that we remove it from the agenda, correct? I, I believe so, but I'm not 100% positive, but I believe so. Okay, so if this is for hers, then we can remove it. If not, we can leave it up. Um, although I don't, I can't remember what else it could be. I would just remove it, Sheila. If it comes back, it comes back. Yep. Okay, fair enough. All right, governing entity with the authority to approve community preservation committee. So we did talk about this briefly last month. Um, I think Chief of Staff Letourneau said that she had some information for us. Um, the mayor was gonna have a meeting uh, with their chair, but I don't see either of them here. So does anybody have any insight in, as to what may have happened or are we just gonna hold this? Hold it till next month then. Put it on next committee chair's agenda for- Sounds good. October. No way. Yeah, I think that would be fine. Sorry, it is um, October, November. November, yes. Great. All right. Um, zoning amendments, rezone the French King. That's going to go to EDP. Right. Perfect. And then Code of Greenfield, Chapter 408. So that's A&O. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is. Um, 2.5 million from free cash to stabilization. All the next few are gonna to go to ways and means. Then 200,000 from free cash uh, for compensated absences. 200,000 for contract stabilization. 100,000 for general stabilization. 600,000 for, or to reduce the FY 2023 tax rate. So those are all ways and means. Yes. yes. Transfer 107. Uh, from free cash to general fund vehicle and fuel accounts, ways and means, appropriate 8,500 from sewer retained earnings as ways and means, appropriate 10,000 from water retained earnings, ways and means, 14,387 from the reserve fund for weights and measures, ways and means. Does that sound out about right? Yep, that's fine. Okay, the next one I think is ways and means, the acceptance of the quarterly, the city's quarterly grant list. Would that go to yes. Ways and Means? Yes. Yes, it would. Perfect. All right. Appointments. Go to Anno. Yep. Um, okay, so the next one. So we need a city councilor to volunteer for the mayor's task force against domestic violence. I haven't received a volunteer yet, so I don't know if I should just asked to send out another email or if we should just hold this. I would. Um, yes, Kathy. No, oh, sorry. I defer to Dan. He was going to speak. Okay. Oh, Dan yeah. and then oh, Kathy. Go ahead, Kathy. Um, I was going to suggest sending out another email as a reminder. Um, and if you still don't have someone bite the apple, then you can appoint someone. 
my okay. opinion. I concur. Yep, agree. All right, that sounds good. Um, the next one is going to be the same thing. It's Sustainable Greenfield Implementation Committee, but that one only, that's just an alternate. Yep. Um, where did I be? Okay, and then Councillor Bullock is going to serve on strategic planning with schools. Right. So we did get a volunteer for that one, so that's good. All right. Good. Um, and then Councillor Sorger uh, put this one up. It's a public forum to discuss Greenfield's public safety, current police force. Um, Councillor DeSorger, did you want that one to go to CRE first or just to the full council? I'm I'm happy with it just going to full council, actually. Oh, yes, because CRE does not want it at all. <laughs> okay. All yeah, right. It's, 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 not, it's not in our purview, and council I, has no authority. So Absolutely. Okay. I think it's appropriate. That well, if it's it a forum, I mean, okay. I don't. I don't believe there should be one that that basically states that the mayor and the police chief will be there with the human rights in the council. But the council doesn't do human resources. And so the lengths of our meetings and everything now, I don't feel like council should be tied into that. Um, chief Haig will be at the next human rights meeting. And I feel that if any counselors are interested they should attend that human rights meeting in any public safety commission, but it should not be on our council floor at all. We have no authority to make any, any determination about personnel. Well, this is meant to be a public forum though, correct? Right. President, Rick, uh, President Gilmore, may I speak? Yeah. Yes. Any ab, uh, excuse me, Councillor Ricketts. I'm sorry. Okay. I, yes, it's definitely not with, you know, we, we don't do the deciding on this, but um, this is something that our constituents have been asking information about. And I would say we, to alleviate time after time where we get, I watched the public comment the last time. Um, why would we not have this when people have so many questions? Why would we not have a forum where people could ask, just be asking questions of the mayor? They, they could, but excuse me, my point being is number one, I read my council email every day and I have not seen this in council email once and public comment is very different than having a public forum and it's only the group of people that are interested in this particular topic right now. It's not the majority of the community. And so we we have done a couple months of very long till 11 o'clock, 11.30 in the morning meetings. And we have been listening. The thing that's problematic to me is the mayor has not been in attendance at these meetings. Mm -hmm. So, I think a public forum with the chief and the mayor, that's fine, but the council can't force it. But the chief is willing to speak at the next Human Rights Commission meeting. And I think that is appropriate place. And I think everyone can ask. And I do think counselors can go. May I, Councillor uh, President yes, Gilmore? Ahead. Yeah, so yes. two things. There, there wasn't, and there may not even be another Human Rights Commission meeting quite truthfully um they had someone resign the latest person that we appointed um has not attended the last two meetings so for lack of a quorum um and they have nine members there may not be another meeting and actually we as a body have the right even to subpoena and ask questions i didn't want that necessarily but um, what are we afraid of by asking these questions? They're questions that people have presented to me. They're questions that people have presented to others. What are we afraid of by having a forum? Nothing. I'm, I'm not 
afraid of anything at all. Oh, great. So could we do that then? That's that's great to hear. Yes, but can we vote can on we whether that? we want to or not? I understand that you want to, but what if the rest of the council who has been sitting through all of the public comment month after month chooses not to? <clears throat> oh, there you go. Well, then perhaps we could see if people didn't want to. I, di I didn't know that. I would assume that most people would actually... It's an inherently polarizing time, but where our constituents are asking for information, I guess I would assume that most people would want to hear and be able to ask those questions, but perhaps I'm incorrect? No, you're, you're correct. That's why we have a public Excuse safety me. commission. I I'm going to Vice President Gwynn has his hand up. Thank you. Um, thank you, President Kilmore. I want to just build off of what both people are saying. I believe that the intention of this is well intended. I'm listening to Councillor Ricketts, and my fear is uh, if we did have a public forum, we have no authority of requesting who attends because it's coming from the wrong side of government. You know, this is this is an executive. The executive could say they were going to have a public forum and they were going to be there with the mayor and the uh, chief of staff. And But for us to ask for it, I think now Councillor DeSorger is correct in that we could subpoena people and we could make it that kind of overly dramatic, you know, legal kind of thing. But I don't know if we need that at this moment. I think the suggestion sent from the council office to the mayor's office, and this is just me trying to look at it from a different perspective, is to say the council would like the mayor to have a forum to the public to discuss these things if she so see, you know, more putting it back where it belongs and, and let her take it. And then if that was not to occur, then we could then look at it from the legislative side and say, we asked that they do this and nothing came of it, but I don't know about forcing the hand. I don't know if we have enough, you know, we could just request it. And if they don't come, I don't know how we hold a forum. So I'm a little bit perplexed in that, how we pull it off. That would be my only thing. Well, I think the intention is that we would have sort of a Oh, sorry, go ahead. Councillor Sawyer, I'm going to put words in your mouth. Why don't you tell us what the intention is? No, if, if I may, we have all the authority to do that. And it actually wasn't with the chief. It was with the executive who actually makes the decision. Questions were right. being asked of that. And we have public comments that ask questions. We have every authority to represent those who elect us and to be asking questions. Obviously, it would have to be outside of litigation, but I thought as a conciliatory matter, as opposed to there's something else on our agenda as far as a resolution of whatever, I thought, do we not all agree that dialogue is a great thing to have with our, between us and our executive, a dialogue, and to have that between us and the elected body? I know that CRE last month had a meeting and actually that was fabulous what you, you did. I, I actually watched that in entirety along with last month's meetings. And this is what what people people had questions about that. We have the authority to do that and there are questions to be asked. And if not who, if not us, who does that? We saw what happened the last time someone set an agenda um, with questions that were so limited in scope, this would would be, uh, and this would be, I, I personally thought having Daniel Yalowitz, you know, co-chair there, so whatever was a fabulous idea, having watched the meetings that he has run on Human Rights Commission. I'm not sure if you've all watched that, but he does a very, he's just such a, uh, fabulous facilitator. I thought this was to the benefit of our community that's actually quite divided and concerned about this. That's all. Yeah, I don't think that we can deny that, you know, the, the public is asking for something to happen. 
Um, I know that the mayor hasn't been able to attend the last couple of meetings because of scheduling issues. Um, I, I still think that this is probably worthwhile and maybe we don't need to send it to subcommittee. Um, we should request and see if they're available and if they're not going to be available for this this month, we want to do it correctly. We wouldn't do it in their absence. Um, that was my point. Yeah. So let's let's go ahead and we'll put this on there. Um, Penny, yeah, yes, Kathy. No, Penny first. I'll ask when the decision is done. Okay. Yes. Um, all I'm going to ask is if we're going to have the forward. Could we have it a totally different night than council so then people can make up their mind that they will you know want to do because there's lots of meetings going on i think hence having trouble finding counselors to step out and take on a different committee is because there is so much time suck going on right now for people it's really hard so i don't mind this at all but I was at that meeting the entire night and I heard two questions, two things that everyone wanted us to do, to do something on the audit or to do the no confidence, both things, something council even tabled. So we can do it. I just want it to be a totally different night than council because we don't even have all counselors coming to meetings, even in person, it's kind of, you know, virtual and, uh, you know, online. So everything seems a little strange right now to me. So that's my only request. <sighs> and, and it doesn't count against counselors if they don't go. I think Councillor Elmer right. wanted to talk to. Uh, um, I, I just find it ironic that Councillor Ricketts asked us to keep the discussion short and go through the agenda. And now we've been on this one for 10 minutes. Can we move forward? Yes, yes. Okay, so I I hear you about having it on a separate night. Um, Councillor DeSorger, would you be opposed to doing this on a separate night from the regular city no. council meeting? No, and I, um, I, that would be fine, a absolutely. Okay, so I'll, I'll draft an email so I can see when um, most counselors are available, especially those who express a strong interest in wanting to attend. Because um, I feel like that's been the only problem with special meetings is sometimes not everyone's able to make it. This one's, you know, the regular meeting is in everyone's calendar, obviously. Okay. So, yes, Kathy. Oh, sorry, Dan. Who was nope, first? Kathy. 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 Um, so if this is going to be a special meeting of the city council, this is going to require by charter delivery of the special meeting agendas 48 hours. So are we going to classify it as a council meeting or are we going to classify it as a public forum? That was what I was going to comment on, Sheila. I think this is a public forum. I don't think it's a council meeting. So forum wouldn't be necessary. I mean, we wouldn't have to make a public meeting. It could be a forum hosted by the council. Uh, that would be my interpretation. And then, then we don't have to worry about those elements and it would be a separate entity, um, you know, hosted by the people that the council disorder suggested or what have you. And obviously the council per participation, but I don't think we're voting on anything. So I don't think we need to make it a formal meeting. Okay. Um, so if it's a public forum that's posted by the city council, it's still okay if there's a quorum and it's still okay if people are talking about the topic at hand, right? Yeah. Um, counselors would need to be careful with their statements. Um, like they wouldn't want to say certain things, but we can address that when everything is set. We don't have to discuss it tonight. Okay. And Kathy, okay, there's no let's vote. Do it if, if I'm sorry, if there's no vote, then the, having a quorum, we're not answering to an, uh, to an agenda item. So it's, a, it's an open forum. So we'll have a little more broad ways than yes. saying yes. I'm against this or I'm for this because there is no against or for because it's a forum. But I just want to clarify to counselors to be cognizant 
of them yes. making statements that they would be for this or they wouldn't be for that so that if something were to come before the council there wouldn't have been a, a proclamation by a counselor that they were for or against something that's very good you yep. you're all you're all citizens residents you can attend anything you want to attend and and make your personal statements um it just needs to be done thoughtfully okay hmm. and we won't be making any motions or anything like that so that should be okay that should be said all right was there any more on this one okay all right edc um i'm sorry chris were you trying to weigh in on that uh, no, uh, I'll pass. That, that's fine. Okay. All right. So EDC, there's going to be a joint public hearing, except that date has changed, right? No. Uh, there's a there's a hearing on this Thursday in two days. This Thursday? Oh, I saw some email. I saw some email traffic. That's, that's in November, though, right? Right. Okay. Okay. All so right. This, so this uh, Thursday. Yep. Um, and that's go ahead. That's a public hearing uh, on the two things. The first one's, uh, I think, uh, you know, uncontroversial, and the second one uh, may be controversial. And I'm, I'm eager to hear what people who shows up and what they say. And then we address both those things uh, the uh, following week, or the yeah, the following week at our meeting. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if we have to vote on them. Uh, Kathy, do we have to vote on the, that meeting? So I don't have the sheets in front of me with the deadlines. Um, I don't know if you have to vote at those meetings. I don't know when the deadline is. My apologies for not having that with me. I, I think we don't um, uh, because there is, I don't, is there, a, I don't think the clock has, oh, the clock has started on the, no, there's no. So um, you're having, you're having a public hearing for the, Oak Hill Road in the marijuana on October 6th. So you have a minimum of 21 days to forward a recommendation because the planning board has 21 days to forward a recommendation. So you do not have to vote on it on October 11th. I'm... Okay, thanks. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and, then, and then the discussion should be fun. Uh, we're having uh, both, um, uh, we're ha we're having the guy who wants to move his business. I forget his name right now. C Crapshaw, Capshaw, um, uh, to talk about what he plans. What and and I and we I hopefully we're going to get to the bottom of what the stop and shop deal is and and how much that restricts us. Uh, I know Councillor Healy has a plan to introduce some language that would allow retail, small retail. He thinks. Uh, LL Bean might want to move into that space. Anyway, we're going to be talking about that. And we probably won't get to the bike lanes. <laughs> bike lanes is just going to be on your agenda just for the rest of the year. Yep. <laughs> Councillor Disorder. Strong work, Councillor Elmer. Um, I, I have one question. Will we, at some point, does economic EDC have to deliberate on meeting number one to give a recommendation to city council. Which meeting number? This, which, what are uh, you this coming Thursday, we have two items. Right. I, I used to put on, I used to put on the agenda to have the deliberation so that it, it we had it in time for city council, but perhaps we want to have that later at, at, our, November, at our regularly scheduled November meeting. As long as it's all within the 90 days, I'm absolutely fine with that. And, and yeah. again, strong work. Let, let's, uh, let's you and I talk about the timing of that. Very good, very good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so Anno, Dan has our look to you. Yeah, uh, the code of uh, the ordinance is fine. The mayor's appointments are fine. Rules of procedure. Um, where are we with that, Kathy? Uh, that's the City Council of Town Legal Review and Opinion. I can't remember which thing that's on. So um, I think this goes back to we're having trouble figuring out how to word the ordinance to put a time limit 
the discussion, uh, the mayor's communication and school committee communication? Oh, I know what it was. I know what it was. We changed the wording um, at the at the uh, A and O meeting with um, a suggestion by um, some of the new counselors, and it wasn't on the paperwork at the last meeting. So I just got to get with Tammy, and I'd like to see that on the full. That's all done in in uh, A and O committee. I'll just get the correct wording with Tammy. To okay, do that. so how about if I put a note here for Tammy that yes. you will give her a call to discuss the word. If we listened to the, the last meeting, we actually came up with some wording that talked about 10 minutes. Basically, it's 10 minutes, suggested 10 minutes for the mayor and the superintendent, um, separate from questions from the council, which occur after they're done with their 10 minutes. And that's and we came up with some wording that blended that. So um that's what I want, and that's what we voted on, and we didn't have that on the agenda at the full council meeting last time. So this can go to full council, but we, we just might make sure that the word is correct. So I am going to ask Tammy to review those minutes again, and yep. then put some language together, and then email it to both you and I so that we can have eyes on it, preferably yes. yours, because you were at the meeting, and then we can firm it up for the council agenda. Correct. Okay. Um, nothing, no, nothing on the uh, muffled compression. That's kind of a un, uh, at this point in time, that's not gonna happen. It's just, it's just too broad. We, I talked to director Warner at a meeting. We've talked to the police. Uh, it was the acting chief and it's unenforceable. It's un, it's, it's just too complicated to work with what we have right now. We have to have them for various hills. And if we didn't have a Jake break, uh, we would have just had probably a fatality at Friendly's when that truck came down the Mohawk Trail. So um, I, I think this is an issue that we can take off the agenda. I don't think it's going anywhere. Um, and lastly, there's, I'm, uh, Sheila, I'm missing, um, the council, the A and O committee has already voted that we need on the full council agenda the um, ad hoc committee to be formed for seven seven and seven eight. And remember, the ad hoc committee is only doing the due diligence. That's what they're doing. They're they're trying to, and it's all there in the language for the ad hoc committee that their agenda is to come up with a recommendation or no recommendation, um, putting together opposing views on the same ad hoc committee, and they will work on this. It's, it, there's no deadline. It could take six months. It could take whatever. And they will then make a recommendation to A&O, and then A&O would take that recommendation to the full council, provided they come to a consensus. And that's the word. And people are, wrote a few things like, Oh, you know, we already had the people vote on 7 8. We had, you know, we don't want it. The whole point is you can't change 7 7 without looking at the wording for 7 8. So if you don't make them looking at both of them simultaneously, it can't get done. So it doesn't mean it's going to change. That's what an ad hoc committee does. So we need that full ad hoc committee that's already got a positive, unanimous recommendation from, from A and O with the members suggested the mayor is now made and we voted in her appointments at the last meeting so that needs to be on the full council agenda for this month okay sounds good um, that's it that's it for anno cre all right so an update from the rec department recycling with dpw schools with superintendent and committee chair and housing and greenfield are are all four of those coming up this month? Yes, yes, okay. all, all of them should be, I think the housing would be the longest one, so they shouldn't be too long. So yeah, so if um, Christy Moore could be invited and Marlo, and then for the superintendent and the schools, they should determine whether they wanna do CRE or whether they just wanna wait to full council since it stays apart. So I'll leave it up to yeah. them which one they wanna come to. All right, sounds good. Thank you. And nothing yes, will Kathy. be on the agenda. The um, full agenda. 
before you conclude ways and means, um, Marla Warner needs to speak, just to let you know. Oh, yes, go ahead. Oh, now, not at the end? Yeah, otherwise I'll forget. Okay, so uh, last month we had a first reading for repurposing of the anaerobic digester funding uh, for a new project, the dewatering. And I see it, it's not on ways and means or up for public hearing and full council this month. I think it needs to be added if you wish. Sheila, it was an oversight on the part of the office, not putting it on ways and means and the draft council agenda. Um, it did have public hearings. It's ready to go. Sorry, it did have a first reading. It's ready to go for public hearing, second reading and a vote. So it was an oversight. Marlo brought that to our attention um, last night through an email. And we appreciate that. Yeah, I saw, yeah, I did see that one today. So that's yeah. a good catch. We'll get no, it just in time, no right? No, we're all a big team, right? <laughs> I'm very busy. All right, so we'll add that to Ways and Means in addition to everything we just added. And uh, Chris, since you're on the phone, I don't know if you're looking at the agenda or if you're just doing this from memory. Um, but what I see here is, I'm sorry? Okay, okay. I can just, yeah, I'm assuming everyone else has that benefit, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to assume. Okay, so does all of this look right to you? Is there anything that needs to move? Um, yes, all those things look fine. Great. All right. Um, well, even the one about tax title taking, because I thought that happened last month. Or is it? It's not resolved yet? It is. It is. Um, I want to say. I, we're looking at, it is on the agenda, it's appropriate that it's on the agenda, and I hope that um, we will be able to um, move forward on it. Great. All right, moving on to full council. Um, yes, Kathy? Um, I do have one item under clerk's report, if you don't mind. Oh, yes, please. Um, the warrant for the November 8th election is not included in this packet. It is not listed on the packet, but it will need to be something that the council will need to vote um, at this October meeting so that it can be properly posted. We actually just got a draft from the state today. Um, they subsequently sent a couple of other emails because there were some typos found. So we're, we're getting ready to have the, the draft warrant ready. Um, and if it's acceptable to the committee chairs, we would put it on the council agenda to be voted for our vote. Yes, please. Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Qu question? Yes, Councilor Disorder. Um, for Clerk Scott, does it include question four, of course? I haven't looked at it because okay. again, three different drafts came through. So I'm kind of waiting a little bit to get the final one, but yes, it will include all questions on the ballot. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, so for full council. Um, oh, so Dan, what you were talking about earlier, that's that's item number one right there. So that's- Yeah, I'm, um, I'm just, the only problem I'm going to have with this looking a knows a whole bunch of stuff. Um, Kathy, has there been any update on tag sales, alcohol, peddling, and vehicles and traffic from from the mayor's office? Remember, they we talked about them, and then they said that wasn't the right strike through version, and they were going to resend it. And we would have to vote on that on the twelfth in order to get it on for the. 19. So I believe what happened was when the council office received them, we received them in strike through format. But when we copied and pasted the language into the AO packet last month, it didn't give you the strike through format. It simply updated it to the new language. Um, so these 
four will certainly go back on the A and O agenda for you to vote on them. Um, with the strike through language available um, so that the committee can see what they're considering. Yes, and we're sir. also we're also waiting on a couple of orders to come through. Um, it, these ordinances have not gone well since 2020, but we're gonna get there. <laughs> All right. My only thing is they're they're appearing on the draft for the full meeting, but they're not appearing on the draft for my meeting on the 12th. We will so in put order them on them your to, agenda for the 12th. Yes. In order for them to be on the 19th, they have to be on the 12th yes. <laughs> because they haven't been voted on. Okay. Uh, so that would, there's no, I mean, they could with no recommendation, but if we want a recommendation, then they have to come on my agenda for the 12th. And so then, but, but the first item about their charters, and, and can you just, as far as wording goes, I really don't want it to say establish of a committee for review of the charter inspection. It's an ad hoc committee yes. of A and O. Because a committee and an ad hoc committee, as you know, because you're the one that told me, are, are different in their- uh, What if it said establishment of an ad hoc committee of appointments and ordinances for yes. review of the charter section 7778? Thank you. Bingo. All right. Um, so that brings us through five, Sheila. <laughs> okay, so we want to keep the um, amendments to the code on the full council agenda. You think you're going to get through them all? Yeah, I, I don't, I, most of this is maintenance, and they don't take a lot of recreation, so it should be quick. And if not, um, I will ask the table at full council. Okay, I'm just kind of looking at, you know, I didn't know if there was any controversy, but... I don't think so. I think these are pretty straightforward, but I have... We almost voted on them last time, and then I couldn't make out what I was doing because it was a, the draft wasn't correct, and I just said, "Nope, I'm not doing it." So that's where we ended up. Okay. If if I may, yeah. After A and O, if you don't forward recommendations, let us know, and we'll take them off the council agenda. Perfect. We have plenty of time in seven days, so that would be great. I'll do that. Remember, we have a holiday in there, so we're short one day. Okay. I'll get it. I'll get it to you right the next day, Kathy. Thank you. All right. So then we have take from the table, hundred thousand for the audits. Um. So the next one, I have a question about. So we have take from the table, appropriate forty five thousand, um, for the public safety community task force. Would wouldn't this come off of the agenda since? since that project came to a halt or are we leaving it on just because it's on the table? Think yes, Kathy. I'm sorry, did someone else? I think Chris Ford, you wanted to speak. I was gonna say um, that that might be a question to ask Kathy. <laughs> so <laughs> it can be left on the table, but taken off the agenda so that it remains on the table. And if the council should want to consider it at a future time, it could be put back on the council agenda to be taken from the table. Okay. Clear I feel like that, I feel like that makes more sense. We'll save some toner too, right? Yeah. yeah. If, it, if this is Chris, it makes a lot of sense. And so what about we'll the one before it that? From the council agenda for now? Yeah, for now. Okay. So the one before that, um, I, I mean, that one I think stays on the agenda because if we decide that we want to take that from the table and vote, um, all the pieces are still in play. It's just the one for the community task force that seems like, you know, it's just missing, it's, it's missing the project, you know, so there's no point in voting the funding. Does that make sense, Dan? Yes. Yeah. Do you? Yes, Kathy. Do you think the council is ready to take the motion FY22155, $100,000 from the table to vote on it? Do you think you're oh, ready? I don't, I don't know if people are ready to vote on it or not, but since that one is hanging out there and it's, it's a possibility on the horizon, it makes more sense to keep it. It's just okay. since the other one, you know, we could vote for the funding, 
and not have a project for that funding to go through. That just seems silly. Okay. And the council can always decide to not take it from the table if they're not ready to consider it. Exactly. Right. All right. Um, and then take from the table, rescind borrowing authorization of 500,000 from construction of a new library. Take from the table, appropriate 500,000. Okay, so those two are kind of linked. Um, the quarterly grant listing looks good. Mayor's appointments, take from the table, amend rules of procedure. So is this the rules of procedure we were talking about with timing the school committee, the mayor, and, and those, is that the same one? That is. Okay. And then the resolution that Councilor Lapiansky put forward. Um, I think all of that looks good. I think I'm happy with the order of it too. Is there anyone who has any objections to that? Not an objection, just an acknowledgement that the um, financial orders that Director Warner brought up will also be added on to the agenda for the dewatering project. And I'm sorry, one dewatering project from the DPW and the former year's bill from Baker Office Supply. Yes. Okay. Can we have that one after um, the amendments to the Code of the City? Because all the other ones are things we've already sort of discussed and tabled. So I just feel like if we can kind of get that one. The dewatering? Uh, right. Want the dewatering there. Okay. Yeah. I feel like after we amend the code, have the dewatering, and then we've got all of those tabled um, issues, which some of them are related and some of them are not. Okay. So do you want all of the non-tabled items to come before the tabled items? Yeah, you know, that kind of makes sense. Okay. Yeah, let's do it that way. Okay. And then we can go into the first readings. And, okay, that's what I've got. Oh, and then a notice of proposed zoning amendments, okay. Yeah, that looks good to me. Does anyone else see anything sticking out that? Okay, yeah, so I think I'm all set. Good job, everybody. Thank you. All yeah. right, so with that, I will take a motion to adjourn. So move for you. Move disorder. Well, I'll second Councillor Forgey's uh, motion to adjourn. Okay, so it's 6.43 and we're adjourning. All right, have a great night, everybody. Yeah, and I will see people at meetings. <laughs>